Let's talk about opening a sterile pack. This is typically going to look at something like opening a sterile gauze, for example, or opening a sterile instrument. Now, first of all, we're going to perform hand hygiene first and foremost. Then we're going to take our item. Typically, there on the top are little unsealed edges. We're going to grasp the package and pull those apart. Now, once we do that, we're going to hold that pack open and we're going to expose that sterile item. So the exposed sterile item is meant to be handed over to the surgical team or maybe someone performing a sterile procedure or gently dropped onto the sterile field. Let's take a look at opening a sterile item. So typically when we open a sterile item, we're doing this because we're going to either have to open and hand over that sterile item to maybe someone doing a procedure or a nurse doing procedure, or we may have to take that sterile item and drop it onto a sterile field to add to the equipment. Now before we get started, let's do our hand hygiene. And while I do this, I want to make sure I maintain eye contact and not leave my sterile field so I can make sure no one's came and bothered it and nothing's falling on that sterile field. Now that I've done my hand hygiene, I'm going to show you how to take a sterile item, open that, and drop it on my field. So now I've got my gauze sponge, for example, and it's sterile because it's enclosed in a package. Now, one thing to know about a lot of sterile items, it's really nice because it may have a little arrow up here, like on the top, that shows you where you can peel. So one other thing to know is notice that I don't have any gloves on. This may make you a little nervous, but because we're not touching anything inside this sterile item, we can do this. This is acceptable. So, when we are taking our sterile item, there's the unsealed edges. I'm gonna take my thumbs and kind of align it on that and open that up and kind of peel it like a banana if you would. So now this is open and for this, I can drop this on my sterile field. So I'm gonna take this item, turn this over and drop it on my sterile field. So I want you to note a few things. I did not drop it way up here, right? That's important because I don't want the sterile item to bounce out of my sterile field. The other thing to note is that once I dropped it in, I was really mindful of my one inch border that it did not hit that because remember, the one inch border is not sterile. So where I've placed this, this is inside my sterile field and ready to use. So I just showed you how to open a sterile item onto a sterile field. Now you may be in a situation where you just need to hand that item over and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're going to take our gauze and remember the outside of this is not sterile so I can use no gloves at this point. We're just not touching what's inside. All right, so I'm going to take these unsealed edges. I kind of like to align my thumbs with the flaps. We're going to peel back like a banana and be really conscious of not touching our skin. Then we're allowed to hand this over to another nurse or a physician, for example, performing a sterile procedure. So one thing to keep in note, when I open this, remember sterile to sterile. So when I hand this over to someone, they will be wearing sterile gloves to use this item.